Hi friends, it's Lori here from Lemon Yoga and welcome back to another video with me. Today I'm taking you through day five of our summer yoga challenge and we are finishing with a gorgeous rest and restore flow. This is going to be slow and stretchy so hit that thumbs up button, hit subscribe to join the Lemon Yoga family and then come and meet me on your mat in a lovely wide leg child's pose. We'll be melting the belly towards the ground and reaching the fingertips towards the end of the mat. Slowly rise on up so you can reach the left arm up high, eyes look up. Exhale, thread that left arm under the right and let's settle ourselves again in extended child's pose with a twist. Eyes looking under that right arm towards the ceiling. Take a deep breath in and out. Inhale. Exhale. Let's slowly rise on up and repeat that on the other side. Right arm sweeps, high eyes can look up. Exhale to thread on down, right shoulder melts to the ground, left arm reaching away and tune back into the breath. Big breaths in and out. Inhale. Exhale. And just staying with that connection to the breath. We'll slowly rise on out, come on up, finding all fours, sink your hips to the ground, bring the forearms to the mat and lift the heart space forwards as you work your way into Sphinx pose. A really lovely back bend, a nice gentle and supported one. So breathe deeply, let those hips melt to the ground, let the lower body feel really heavy here and be led by the breath. Exhale to release, palms to the ground, press the body to downward facing dog now, finding that full body stretch, gently pressing the heels towards the ground, dropping through the crown of the head and focusing on the breath. From here, the left leg lifts to three-legged dog and then sweeps all the way through, foot lands down, right knee melts to the ground, eyes look forwards, rise onto the fingertips. Lift through the heart space, find length through the spine and then walk that left foot out, begin to twist towards the left knee. You can lean your hand on top of the leg to twist even further. Eyes looking up, really melting into the hips, twisting into the hips before releasing all the way back down, walking the foot back through and rolling those hips back so you can find a hamstring stretch. Lifting the toes on the left leg towards the ceiling, melting the torso down towards the ground. Take big breaths in and out let yourself melt further exhale we'll slowly roll forwards and release wiggle that foot over to the right side melt your hips into your pigeon stretch and come straight down for our sleeping pigeon just making sure both of the hips are even here you're not sinking the weight to one side you're going to try and relax through the whole body here, feeling every part of you soften and let go. Breathing in, breathing out. Soften all the way through your back, right down into the tailbone. And then slowly, slowly, we'll begin to rise back up. Take your time, press away from the mat 
and then step back into your downward facing dog. Finding that full body stretch, heels pressing towards the ground as the right leg lifts into our three-legged dog. Step the right foot through to the top of the mat, left knee to the ground. Rise onto the fingertips as you lift your heart space forwards. Melting into the hips, deep breaths in. And out. And we'll take that twist, walk the right toes out to the diagonal, lean the right hand on top of the leg and twist your tummy towards the right knee. So you get a really nice deep stretch into that left hip flexor. Stay with the breath. And then we will walk all the way back through center. And we'll shift the hips back, lifting the right toes high to the sky, fold the body forwards. Let yourself melt. Take deep breaths in and out. Inhale and exhale. Rolling through to release, heel toe the foot over to the left wrist, slide the side of the leg down, hips melt towards the ground and take your fold. Let yourself settle here in your sleeping pigeon. Keep finding that softness through the spine. Find softness through the shoulders and the neck and all the way through the face. Everything melting, relaxing, and letting go. And you're just breathing in and out. And then when you're ready, nice and slowly, press to rise. This time, bring that back leg in. Slide the soles of the feet together to find Baddha Konasana, our hip opener. Sit nice and tall here. And then maybe take a gentle fold down towards the feet. It's up to you. You can keep it upright. You can take the fold. <sighs> And we'll just let those hips open. Open to wherever they naturally want to get to. And stay with the breath. Visualising your hips softening and relaxing. And then really slowly we'll rise on up. Bring those knees in and roll yourself down onto your back. Hug the knees to chest here as you gently rock the body from side to side, giving yourself a lovely little massage. Just letting all the weight of the body sink towards the ground. Keep the right leg in, extend the left leg along the ground now. Hug the right knee tight towards the chest, lifting into the hip. Deep breaths. Let's begin to lengthen the right leg towards the ceiling. You can hold wherever feels comfortable for you. That could be the back of the leg, the big toe, or you could use a strap as an aid here. And then just focus on letting the back of the body sink towards the ground. The tailbone is heavy. The back of the head is heavy. The chin is gently tucked towards the chest. Breathing in. Breathing out. Start to bend into that right knee. Use the left hand to take the right knee all the way over to the left hand side into a nice big supine twist. Reaching the right arm away at shoulder height, look over the right arm and then just let yourself melt. There's nothing you need to do here. We just need to relax and let go. Deep belly breaths. 
As we roll all the way back through center, we can lengthen the right leg there, bring the left leg in, give the knee a squeeze close to the chest, lifting and opening into the hip. And then begin to lengthen the left leg high towards the ceiling, holding wherever feels right for you, the toe, the back of the leg, or using a strap as an aid. Melt the back of the body to the ground. Relax through your tailbone. Relax through the back of the head. Let tension melt away from the neck and the shoulders. Breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out and start to soften into the left leg. Use the right hand to draw the left knee all the way over. Reach the left arm away at shoulder height, look away from the midline of the body and then just let the body relax. It might even feel nice to close off the eyes here, turning your attention inwards, helping you to soften, helping you to let go. Stay with the breath. Release, roll back through center, grab hold of the feet here, take the feet wide, either bending into the knees for a happy baby or straightening through the backs of the legs, drawing the feet towards the ground. Maybe having a little bit of fun here, a little bit of play with this movement. Allowing the back of the body to sink towards the ground. And then we'll release. We'll find a comfortable pose on our backs for Shavasana. And we'll take a deep breath in and out. Inhale and exhale. Just giving yourself some time to be still. I want to take a moment to say thank you so much for joining me for today's yoga practice. I really hope you enjoyed these slow stretches. If you did, leave me a comment and let me know. Hit that thumbs up button and of course hit subscribe to join the Lemon Yoga family. I would absolutely love to have you here. When you're ready, roll onto your side, gently press yourself all the way back to seated, ground your sit bones, sit tall, reach the arms high, exhale down to your heart space and our practice is complete. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye guys.